the SO7 Chase Qualifier is next. And again, with the handicap bandings a bit low this week, not to 10, we've got a small field, two miles and three furlongs it is. And we've got just four again, which I think is what we had for the last chase as well. And Dallas is at the top for Martin Leon, Lamarita Buff for Matt Cooper, Radioactive for Derek Hinton, and Titch Jazz for Alex Cherry. Quick aerial sweep of the track, dark skies overhead, but the rain is not quite, quite with us at the moment. They're away and racing and heading towards the first, and the top weight Damister is in the lead. 18 fences to take, and over at the pop, and they're all safely over the first. With Damister in front, and they get to the second. You know, there's a four already. Radioactive's gone, so radioactive is out. Leaves us with just three, all of whom will qualify for the final if they get red. And at the moment, Danister is a good six lengths clear of Lamarita Buffs and then Titch Jazz as they get over the fourth. And head towards the fifth, so just the three of them. And the top weight is clear. The good thing about these handicaps is the weight differential can make a big difference. Saw in the hurdle qualifier, the obviously the best horse in the race was Darren Thompson, but he only just managed to win because of the weight it was having to give away. I'll be happy enough if Damister can do the same. I'm not convinced as he does seem to like going in the placings. He was around two seasons ago and finished in the money. 10 times out of 13 without winning and has done something similar this season on uh, on his early races, I think he fell once as well and uh, this will be his best chance of ever picking up that elusive win and then pop over the ditch and this as well let's take it over the next one, it's a pretty important race to me because I like this start as orders Chase quality. I think I've won the final for about three or four of the last seasons. So, for some reason I seem to do okay in it. They all get over that water jump and the assembled throng can cheer them on. That's the winning post with a circuit to go. I think we are going to get that bizarre situation where they're going to jump the water jump about 10 strides from the winning post. But as we know, in the world of SO6, nothing can ever fall at a water jump. So, Nothing will happen at that anyway, so well, people will say it doesn't make any difference. It's just me being grumpy, I suppose, and wanting things to be done properly. But anyway, it's Damister in the lead. Um, Titch just second, Lamarita Buffs is in third. And over that one they go. All safely over it. Damister clear over the 11th. Titch Jazz has jumped into second. Lamarita Buffs is now back in third. Over the 12th they go. Damister maybe just getting a little bit lonely out in front. Jockey has to keep giving him the hurry up. Lamarita Buffs is second as they get over that ditch. Titch Jazz over in third. The chasing two are definitely closing on the leader. The top weight. His lead is now down to a little more than two lengths as Lamarita Buffs moves closer. Titch Jazz just being pushed along to go alongside that one again. It's wide open this still as they head to the next. They're down in the business end of the race now, there's a little more than three and a half furlongs to go. And Damister is starting to quicken away again as they get over that one. Three more fences and then the water jump attack. There's the third last. Proper fences. Come to the second last now. Damaged is suddenly on 12 clear. That was the final ditch. Comes to what is the final fence effectively next. With a furlong to go and Damister pops over and he's finally broken his main certificate after two seasons. Unless he becomes the first horse ever to fall at a water jump. He's going to win this one. And over he pops. And Damister finally gets the win. Titch Jazz is second. Lamarita Buffs is back in third.
so I've damaged the text and I've just realised I've been commentating on the wrong horse for me because I've been referring to Drum Lagan and it was around two seasons ago. Damn it, this is his first season. So, <laughs> everything I've just said in that race, completely ignore it because I'm talking absolute nonsense. And that's what happens when you only get a four on a race and you think, I've got to think of something to say and talk about while people are watching this. Fortunately, there's only Alex and Matt that have noticed because I'm sure Hinton, Derek Hinton, would have turned it off as soon as his horse fell. So anyway, Damister wins it for Martin. That's three on the day for me so far. Tits Jazz, Alex Cherry second. Lamarita Boss, Matt Cooper third. And Radioactive for Derek Hinton was a faller at the second.